Good morning from the streets of Makassar. So today we just arrived here. We're gonna go explore the city, try to find some motorbikes, find some transportation. The weather is so far holding up. It's a little bit sunny, but it is supposed to rain in the afternoon. So hopefully we can explore the city, give you guys our first impressions and find something to do around here. Kalau per hari berapa? Paling kita ke daerah mana sih? Malino. Malino. Paling paling Malino. Kan teman Rama. Rama Rama situ. Kalau Rama Rama ada tiga destinasi wisata di sana. Just he offer us transportation and place place to stay, but it's super expensive. It's like two times, three times more expensive. So I'm like, nope. I'm just gonna keep your number, but I'm I'm not gonna call you. We just arrived on what looks like the main street here in Makassar. There's also shops here, a lot of uh, cafes here. Really cool restaurants. It's pretty busy. It's only a one-way road, so you'll see a lot of cars and motorbikes passing by. That guy that was just trying to offer us uh, to do a tour, super expensive. Um, so we'll see what we can find. We're still trying to find a motorbike or a car to rent, which seems to be a pretty difficult task as it is. And next, ada nggak? All right, guys. We have accomplished one thing, and that was to find a motorbike rather expensive to be honest uh, we're paying 350 k idr for two days only which for that price you can rent a car for one day um, people here in uh, makassar don't have the uh the biggest trust in you when renting a motorbike we found the same thing also to be true in surabaya so the guy was literally asking for uh id of course as well as a picture of uh our hotel key card to make sure we were staying there. It was much easier to rent a bike in Billy Thung. You just walk up to the person's house and rent it. There's our bike. Alright guys, we got our scooter now. We got the N Max here. The guys took quite a minute to look over uh, Kentanya's driver's license and I did to make sure that they had everything. They even took a picture of her uh, just for documentation. So people are here really want to make sure that they know who you are and where you're staying in case you steal the bike. But we're heading out to our first destination about an hour north here of Makassar. Alright guys, welcome to Ramang Ramang. So this is a pretty special spot on the way we drove here. There's just beautiful rice fields and we're about to hop on a boat and do a boat tour. So the reason this place is actually a pretty popular tourist attraction is because they have these beautiful large limestone cliffs uh, coming right out of the water and you have this beautiful river canal, almost like mangroves, similar to what I experienced in Krabi, Thailand. So we're about to hop onto this beautiful boat here and show you what it looks like. at our first stop looks like there's actually a good number of tourists here got three boats here all right guys so we've stopped off at our first little location and it's like a small little village and one thing I noticed while we were flying into Makassar is that like you'll see these beautiful rice fields like you see behind me and you'll see these built homes that are on stilts right over these like lakes or rice fields that are just flooded. Super unique. I've never seen it anywhere else in Indonesia. Um, so we're going to go ahead and walk through these makeshift bridges that are kind of over flooded already.
I honestly would have never imagined a place like this to be in Indonesia. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Uh, they've got a mosque here. They've got a warung here. Um, so if you want to have a lunch here, overlooking this beautiful, uh, what looks like a lake. It's absolutely incredible. You even have bathrooms here. I'm surprised there aren't many more tourists here, especially foreign tourists. How does nobody know about this place? This is the ticket booth for this specific location that we just stopped off at. It cost us 15K to come here. Absolutely worth it. Just pay the $1 and come here. We're currently pulling up to a hotel here that we saw on the way here. We're gonna see how much the prices are here because it'd be really cool to stay here at least for one night in the middle of the river. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. They've got um, a few cottages here over the water, and one of them has a view over the rice field. It's about 300k IDR per night, so I'll put the conversion down below. But this is a very unique spot, honestly. It is obviously a pretty local com accommodation, so don't expect too much. There might not be hot water running here, but still very unique. And uh, the 300k IDR per night actually includes breakfast. So, month up. Okay guys, we just finished at Raman Raman. We were taking on a boat tour for 200k IDR. I was actually worth it. It's for the whole boat, it's not per person, which is very different. Because usually in Indonesia when you book a tour, it's per person. But just finished it, had an amazing time. So now we're off to our next destination in Makassar. We're just leaving our hotel right behind us here. We're staying at the Fave Hotel. And uh, it's our first night out here. We're gonna take you guys around town here in Makassar. It, not many foreigners actually come out here, I'll, be, I'll tell you that. And um, we're gonna walk around, get some food out here, show you a bit of what it looks like out here on the streets, give you our first impressions, uh, because it's very different to what Bali might look like. We've arrived to Pantai Lasari, which is like the only beach here in downtown Makassar. It's not really a beach, it's more of like a little park area where you guys can hang out. They've got street vendors set up out here as well. So as you guys can see, there is probably nearly over a hundred food stands here. And a lot of them are selling just about the same stuff. Mostly just snacks, sausages, pisang, which is uh, bananas, fried bananas. A lot of uh, fruits, juices, corn on the cob. All of them are trying to get you into their restaurant. We found the one restaurant that wasn't hassling us to try to come to their restaurant. So we decided to come sit here. We found one dish that is local to here in Makassar and that is called Pisang Epe. And they have it in several different flavors, all of which are the same price, 15K, which is one US dollar. I got you. Oh yeah. So it's pretty interesting. He's uh, taking the bananas here and he's grilling them over charcoal. So what this is, is a grilled banana with topped off with some cheese, some shredded chocolate, and uh, chocolate powder on top even, as well as condensed milk. It looks like I'm about to get diabetes from eating this probably. So I wouldn't eat too much of this. This is probably more dangerous than martabak even. But let's go ahead and give it a try. This is very local to Makassar. The banana is like, you got a very tough skin because you grilled it, and it's like very soft on the inside. So you get this really, really, really unique texture. All right guys, we just finished that quick little snack. As you guys saw back there, it was really delicious. I definitely encourage you to try uh, Pisang Pepe, I believe is what it's called, Pepe. Um, really delicious and only a dollar, very affordable. 
Now the street we're actually walking through right now is right along the coastal waters here. There's a lot of restaurants around, around this area. It's a pretty busy market area. And so it's definitely a great place for you to stay if you're looking for a hotel in this area. We're, the place we're staying at is called Fave Hotel. It costs us roughly, I think, like $20 per night. So not in too incredibly expensive, I think. Well guys, this is not what I expected. This was a much different street uh, just a few hours ago. I mean, as you can see, all the stores are closed down now, but every single one of these stores here is a gold shop. And it was just filled with people this morning. Not this morning, this afternoon actually. So I guess they all closed down to go eat dinner. Now the street that we're actually walking through right now is called Somba Apu Street and it's a big shopping street. They've got lots of gold dealers here, lots of uh, clothes. So it's a pretty cool street. They have some, a lot of street food here. They had some nasi goreng uh, cooking up on the street here at night. So after the stores close, a lot of the street vendors come out here and occupy this area. But we're still hungry because we only ate some banana. So let's go try to find something else that is only local to Makassar. One of the main dishes we were recommended before we came to Makassar was miti tea. It was one of, one of a few dishes, uh, but this was like one of the more, more popular places and it's right across the street from our, rest, from our <laughs> restaurant, right across the street from our hotel. Uh, and I don't know how much it costs, but we'll find out in the end. Can't be too, too much. From what I see, they've got lots of chicken, uh, some crispy noodles in here, some lime, some basil leaves or something, some kind of leaves in here, I'm not sure. And then it's all covered in this like gooey jelly. I can't describe it. It, it might be like uh, mixed with egg. All right, guys. So we're gonna put some lime on here. It tastes pretty good. I will say that. Just imagine like chicken and crispy noodles covered in egg. Not too bad. That was pretty good. Only cost us uh, how much? Forty-nine. Forty-nine k. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tour around Makassar tonight. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Tomorrow we are heading to Central Sulawesi. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.